In today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix Roblox Studio saying that its files have either become corrupt or missing. But before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet and you do enjoy this video and it helps you out, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos on how to resolve issues with Roblox and Roblox Studio. Also, I will pop a link in the description below to our website with a guide on this video which might also have more methods that I didn't get around to adding in this video. So the first thing that you need to do is just simply find Roblox Studio on your computer. You do need to be signed into the user account that you did install Roblox Studio onto. So I'm now going to open up the start menu and type in Roblox. Once you find Roblox Studio, you then need to right click on it and go open file location. You then need to right click on the shortcut again and go open file location and you will then see the Roblox Studio Launcher beta.exe. You need to right click on this and go to properties and you then need to go to compatibility and tick run this program as an administrator, press apply and OK and you need to do the same for the other .exe, Roblox Studio beta, right click properties, compatibility, run this program as an administrator, apply and OK. Once you've done that, go ahead and launch Roblox Studio and see if that resolved the issue. And with a bit of luck, that should have helped. If that didn't fix the problem, then the next thing that you need to do is simply close that file explorer, and you then need to right click on the start menu icon, go to apps and features. You then need to click and search this list and type in Roblox, and you then need to find Roblox Studio, and it will then say for and your username. Click onto this and go uninstall and then uninstall. Once Roblox Studio has been uninstalled, press OK and you can then close down apps and features. You now need to open up File Explorer again and you then need to click in the address bar and do the percentage symbol and type in local app data and then the percentage symbol again and press enter. You then need to find Roblox in the list and then open up the Roblox folder and you now need to open up the versions folder and you then need to delete anything else that says Roblox Studio. As you can see here, it says Roblox Studio Launch Beta. I'm going to delete this. And you then need to go into each folder and then just ensure there's nothing else. So you can see there, it says Roblox Studio Launch Beta. Delete that, go back, check the other folder. And that says Roblox Player. So I don't want to touch that because that's the actual Roblox Player. So once you have deleted everything to do with Roblox Studio, you can then close down File Explorer and you now need to click on the link that's in the description below to re-download Roblox Studio to your computer. Once you have clicked on the link that's in the description below, you will end up on a page that looks like this. You now need to click on Start Creating, and you then need to press Cancel to this pop-up as we don't want to open the link, and we then want to click on Download Studio. This is now going to download the setup file. You now need to go to the location where your files download to, so go to your Downloads folder, and you then need to right click on the Roblox Studio Launcher Beta.exe that we just downloaded and go run as administrator. This is now going to install Roblox Studio to your computer. Once the install has finished, Roblox Studio should then launch. And as you can see, Roblox Studio launched absolutely fine on my computer and it's still got my project file there. So that's how you fix Roblox Studio saying that the files have either become corrupt or missing. I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. Like I said at the start of the video, I will pop a link in the description below to a guide on what I showed you in this video. And if I do think of any more methods to help fix this issue, then they will be on that guide. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see more computer sluggish videos, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.